<sighs> hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is uh, day 17 of the September Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button here, subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about uh, today's spot. I just finished running my 10 speedy miles, uh, basically interval training today, and I am pooped, tired, and everything. So I'm ready to go to bed now. So uh, let's hope this is straightforward, and let's take a look. We have 2353 design a food rating system. Design food rating system, I can do the following. Modify the rating of a food uh, item in the system. Return the highest rated food item for a type of cuisine in the system. Okay. So this already uh, immediately tells me that I have to probably either use like a heap or soda list or something and maybe modifying. Okay. Uh, implement a food rating class such that you're given the foods, cuisines. Do they map to each other? Is it a sip? Okay, so yeah, it's a sip of food, cuisines, and rating. And then we could change the rating for given food. Um, yeah, okay. And then you just... So the only thing that we care about is is keeping track of the highest num uh, rating for a certain foods, and that can change. Of course, actually, this is a very classic example for um, a textbook use of a heap. Unfortunately, we don't get really uh, uh, the textbook... Uh, version of the heap uh, in that in, in the textbook versions of the heap we have uh, uh, what's it called update is it called update heap huh or well, something like that we don't get an update heap in either case so we're not going to do that uh, you, you can still use heap if you like with a sort of a delayed heap uh, popping but we can also use in at least in, in Python you can use sorted list and C++ you can use um, I think just like a, a, a map, right? Um, so something like that, or is it map? Maybe by some sort, but you, you can also implement your own binary search tree type thing, a balanced binary search tree um, to kind of do stuff like that. So yeah, uh, okay. So first of all, let's get uh, everyone's rating going on, right? So we have, so maybe we have uh, uh, rankings or something like that, which is going to be a, uh, a list of sorted, li Uh, a dictionary of sorted lists, right? Uh, and that is just, yeah, mapping uh, mapping cuisines to a sorted list of ratings. Right? And then now we can just go for uh, F, C, R, maybe, in sip of foods, cuisines, ratings. You can just do uh, solve dot rankings of um, C. We want to add R and F, right? The rating and the food. And that's mostly it um, to support it in theory, but we still have to support change rating, right? And change rating, you can kind of maybe find this somehow, but it's also easy to just have a look up. So maybe we have a look up which is a dictionary and then it would also allow us to look up a food with the rating right uh, uh well i guess i was gonna say wait i mean i did say rating but also maybe a, a rating and the cuisine so we have both right in some order it doesn't matter uh and then now when we change rating then now we have to look up uh the cuisine and the old rating right so yeah and then old rating maybe is you go to sub dot lookup of food. Does this always have to exist? Okay, will be the name of food. Okay, just want to make sure because sometimes you just have to do error checking. Some problems make you do it. Some problems don't. So I always look it up. Right. So then now, um, yeah. First of all, we want to make update lookup of F of food in this case. Is you go to see new rating. Then now we have a new rating. We also want to update rankings of uh, C, right? We want to, you want to say maybe add the new rating and then the food, but you also have to remove the old one first. I guess you don't have to, but maybe it's probably more ideal. And then that's it. And then now the highest rated for a given cuisine would just be rankings.cuisine. 
and this is a sorted list so we just want the last item and we are Gucci uh, we just have to also make sure that this has at least one item or something uh, we have to, or okay will be a type of okay so I guess that's fine so now we'll give it a spin we'll wait well oh uh, I, I was just lazy this is the item but then we have to return the name so that's going to be the index of one you can also use a name contain uh, or name tuple on this to make it a little bit cleaner uh, but apparently we're wrong. Shushi. Why? Do, 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 do. Maybe we did something silly. Hmm. Uh, we wanted to get Japanese. In Japanese, we have miso, ramen. Oh. I, I guess, I mean, it's, but they're both at 16, so I guess there's some tie-breaking thing that I just didn't pay attention to. If there's a tie, we turn the item into lexicographic, the smallest. Okay, so that means that, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. So right, right now, in a ranked, uh, in a sorted list, it is sorted by the rating, and, or it is sorted by, um, yeah, I mean, it's sorted by the rating, and then the, the food alphabetically. So to kind of get a consistent ordering, you could do a number of things, really. Um, uh, how do I want to do it? You, you could kind of like invert the food, but you can also just maybe set it to negative. And then now you just have to return the first element because we reworded it. Um, and that should be good. I mean, we have to update it here too. Right, looks okay. Let's give it. Oh, did I have. Did I leave the print statement in there? No, maybe I removed it. I don't know. Yeah, okay, we moved it. I mean, it's good anyway. Uh, so, yeah, um, we'll keep it simple, keep it dumb. I mean, it's just about. What I, I call it these kind of problems bookkeeping problems in that you just have to keep track of where everything is and what everything else is doing. And as long as you do that, it should be fine. Uh, and a lot of these times, it, it's going to, you know, it's going to be some some combination of you know trying to get uh or it, it, it's very often uh, especially on the more easier difficulties um some sort of yeah you know, binary search or sorted list or uh maps right because everything else is all of n so yeah uh, i mean of course there are more complex data structures for crazy things but but like i said on the easier difficulty maybe that this sort of, that is sufficient. I can't even get the words out. I am very tired. I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to go mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.